away from old 11 this lane at the top Kezu still managing to find a, a fair bit of CS he's 13 for 2 11 for 0 so Kezu arguably playing this lane very nicely against the Axe he's gotten a lot more in the first few waves than uh than I think probably should but once the pulls start coming out and he's getting his creep wave denied that's when the Axe is going to start getting uh, further and further ahead fortunately I don't think Kezu needs to win his lane he just needs to make sure that his chronos are on point and you can follow it up with things like Sunstrike and Echo Stomps and whatnot to get kills. Still hunting for that first blood folk team, Yapsil. Stomping down onto one. The Thunder Strike out, Yapsil falling low. Oh, 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 my God, but already they've lost one. First oh, one here to the side of Ehome, trying to finish up old Lana, but he's to too that? tanky on this Ogre. They just don't quite have the damage at the moment, Escape Gaming. So Ehome getting themselves the kill, and they lose. Magi, he's got 10 armor when he's around Ice Ice Ice, who has that Bassy, and 700 I see a call here. Just going for a little bit of farm but yeah the escape have an issue where a lot of their damage is physical during the early game and both ice 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 and lana have just an insane amount of armor just in touch with sin down on the old ogre so turn around try and slow them out here the stomp is going to connect it's going to allow yapto and sin to close a little bit of the gap also quiper's moving over as well he's going to look for the kill old lana is going to look to kill himself the creeps isn't going to work out and ends up feeding a kill to the mid laner of SK. If the pace continues to go at this stage where yeah, we're 10 minutes in, there's only been one kill on either side. There's definitely going to be scope and space for an invoker to continue to farm up. Man, we're talking about space, but Ehome, they want to push They want to push the pace. They're going to have Ghost back up here. The timing is perfect. Like, Old Chicken's ultimate just came back up, and they're just going straight for the safe lane. If they can get error, that would be a very, very tilting kill for Escape Gaming. They lose that drought. He's already had a tough start. If they can take him down as they come with the wraparound, Aaron Sin, they're on their own. There's three, four, the side of our old chicken just popping the ghost. The static storm's down there, not messing up the double headed. Come to the bottom. Come to the bottom. Come to the bottom. At the same time, Sinner has still been left behind. You know, and they're taking him down. Don't down by old 11. They'll take a second to home. We'll still win the engagement two for one, regardless of Kezu's presence. As other than a chronosphere, obviously at this stage of the game, not a lot Dire more that the can offer. See, I'm sort of just getting a smoke delivered out. We'll see if Escape Gaming are able to move around as, as a grouping and try and find some sort of action against e -Home, but. As so we can see, it's, it's going to be very hard with the progression that Ehome's managed to maintain in this early stages. And Ehome themselves, of course, they're the ones to be moving out for the action, looking for some fun. They've found Cinder and Old Lanham closing in. He's oh, got the tower, a bit of a mess there, but there's the glimpse back. Cinder, he does have help, but he's he wants strength to stack. Dyer's middle tower, but Cinder, he's still sidestep. And he's saying, Michelle, he can't win. He's got it all. He's got it all. going to fall as well. They've lost two escape gaming. Stop is going to come out, hold some of the back. Kezu and Yapsil will be able to escape. Did manage to find the disruptor, but again, it's Ehome with these successful fights and trades and killing the Arrow Drow Ranger once again. It's, it's looking Radiant's painful for the boys on Radiant. Under attack. You want to be able to throw in more damage. You want the Earth Splitter to be there. The Wombo Combo is how they turn a team fight, and that's something that their lineup does enable them to do, but it's also very reliant on Ehome being out of position. Like, you want to catch like the Naga inside of the Chrono, I think, and the Axe. But to catch them both is very hard because they're going to be in very different positions during the team fight. Because if you Chrono and the song comes out, then the rest of your heroes can't do anything, right? And you're just sitting there. Um, yeah. Clears back onto Hera. He needs some kind of help coming around. Old Chicken already closing the gap with the side. Didn't be warded back as the Skate Gaming on in the full force. Chrono's back up in 20 seconds. Battle pings onto Ice Ice Dice as he comes across. Kezu needs some some backup if he wants to try and make a go onto this Naga Siren, but still realizing the issue and oh Aaron's being caught out again by the clip. He's into the storm. Sinner is saving no. under attack. Sinner already walks it off. No break for you, sir. Still just another one grave, so I imagine wasn't quite the race to save Aaron and now E Home moving in for potentially more. Where it comes out from Yapsor, and that will stop E Home from advancing. But again, they're losing the Aerodrama Ranger Radiant's time and time tower again here. Is under attack. Well, the thing is, they're kind of being forced into playing this style where they need to try to push. But every time they try to push, Ehome already have all the core items necessary on their axe to just... ...as much as they can as they will look towards the top Dyer's tier one, just trying to find the openings attack. for these objectives that they desperately need to find. It. But again, that 16 minutes in, Ehome have certainly started to push Dyer's the momentum, push the pressure. Fortified.
Terra. He's Dyer's gonna hang top back. Tower is under attack. Doesn't want to be involved in the next bit of action. Just wants to make sure that he has that aura. He has himself a live drop of the push. Eho, old chicken moving into the pit. Pops the go to stout. Dyer's top and tower. Again, this is the point of the game where escape gaming unlikely to be able to do anything about this. Don't know what's going on. They made a trade at least. They're not just losing Roshan for no reason. They killed the tier one. They're gonna leave Quake up there as long as they possibly can. Because they need to start splitting up the uh, Maybe the maybe they can get over there. They are thinking okay. about it. But Roshan isn't falling maybe as fast as Ehome would have hoped. The spirit's in. He's down. Kezu jumps forward. Chrono's only going to catch Ice 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 though. Kezu, he's trying to finish off Roshan. He hasn't got the damage. He can't quite do it. All level jumps back. Dyer's top in top 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 the sidelines. They will take down the disruptor, but Roshan's down. Aegis needs to be picked up by Ice Ice Ice. The song up and try to move out. The damage is starting attack. to mount up, especially with this minor arm on Old Chicken. Oh, and they will be able to pick up their profit. They'll get themselves another. Old Eleven did try for a blink call, but the Forge Spirits held him back, cancelling that blink dagger. But Skate Gaming managing to poke a little bit at E-Home. Unable to steal the Roshan and the Aegis as Naga will be able to take that away safely. It would have been huge. The interesting thing to me, and whenever I watch Escape, even if they're not winning, yeah. Quakefa literally always has the highest net worth. He's just all the time. I think that's where the 75% of the pri you know, the, the battle pass level money goes. Honestly, it really feels Straight that way. Straight to Quakefa's net worth. I mean, Get some. And Cinderin. I mean, this is probably one of the worst teams I feel to play Dazzle against because they just love Axe. It's it's got to be a bit of a dazzle nightmare, especially when the axe has such a good start. Yeah, it's good enough to take down a tanky hero. That's that's going to be good with the Elder Titan synergy for sure. But otherwise, it's like if the axe is ahead of you, it's, it's a nightmare. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Chin on mid. Looks like they want to try and do something return. Yeah. As he jumps in, two man Escape gaming, hitting E home hard there with a the one two combo. Right. Now jumping in for more. They've got eyes on Tefemre. Doesn't look like they're gonna have to catch though. There's gonna be another jump haste. forward if Kezu wants to go for it, but he's gonna hold back. There's a haste rune. There we have it. One, two, come on by beautifully executed fire escape Radiance gaming. Middle tower we're back in, we'll jump a few frames forward there. Radiant structures Hill, are clear, fortified. So back on Ehome, trying to finish off that tier one in the mid lane. Looks like they'll be able to get it this time. Uh, Splitter or Chronosphere available to escape gaming. Can't Radiance push together middle tower that formidable full defense they did before Kezu. Whoa! Nice time walk, son. There's a glimpse though, there she counters. Static Storm as well. Oh, he's trying to move in. For the double kill. Oh, you can't. I said good things, sir! That wasn't a multi, I think he actually lives there. The glimpse he would have, yeah, he would have had a chance to time walk again. Yeah, and he yeah. had the pace was slow, Ehome started to step it up. It started to slow down a bit again, but Ehome, moving into the right turn for escape game, he's come across, and well, they've caught him out. Old level, he's going to get him with the ball. That will be punished for his presence, and the rest of escape gaming starts to get themselves on the retreat. Oh, he's in the base for 30 seconds. He must have held that TP for a while, because like the, the draw didn't die that fast, right? It feels like he might have just hesitated a bit, I'm not sure why. I feel like items on this hero, and you, like, four staff is pretty mediocre. Sure, you already have the Dragon Lance, so you can make it into a Hurricane Bike or whatnot, but this gives him more damage, and it kind of gives him that survivability, or maybe not survivability, but the, the way to escape ganks that he's looking for. Okay. Top lane. Land. Yeah, they're looking for him. He's gonna go for the straight TP out. Oh, Quite quick with the cold snap. Oh. Old man taken down. How did that TP not go off? I thought he was out. Live. That's a good kill though. Takes a lot. They do have the gen now on Elder Titan as well. So looking to take up some control of the map. He yeah, absolutely wants to be careful. Quick response here. Kezu's still trying to bash away. Oh, Levin and Fenrir taking out, but the storm comes out. Escape game, top five finishing, but they still got a nurse, but he has to put his sword out by the song. He'll clip off the old 11. He's you know, trying to get themselves out of it. The beautiful way to try to jump down to Fenrir. The final stroke of the old chicken coming in hard onto Kezu. He's got the grave from Sinner and will be able to get himself out. Old 11, maybe contemplating going back in. He's going to try to see if he's got the yules, the cool, everything's there to stop the little purple buggy getting hung with Sinner and on the devil cool. But it's a one for one trade there in E Home's jungle. Does force the uh, the ghost to obviously be used on the death profit, so Ehome may be unable to then look for a, a push themselves off the back of it. So the gaming of certainly, certainly stepped it up, showed their hand, and Ehome 
gonna sit back, go for the objective, get the Roshan, and then to the point, as we said, without that Chronosphere escape gaming, they're scouted out, but unlikely. Really I mean, maybe if they had started moving a bit sooner, you do have Elder Titan, it's just a chance that you could delay the Rosh, at the very least, but stopping it completely is gonna be tough, and they're not willing to take that risk right now, so they're gonna give it to Evil, which, obviously, is utility is not where it needs to be to take that engagement so all things considered e home still looking to be in the, the driver's seat for a bit longer being said though escape gaming have a couple of ways to take the fights we've seen some really good chronospheres from kezu we've seen the follow-up with the earth splitter coming out from yapsor and quite this damage as well so their high ground defense is great there's no question about it on escape and maybe that's what they need to turn the game a really good timing for Ehome to try to make something happen, Dyer's but obviously 5 man smoke gank fails, gives Escape a little bit of breathing room, yeah, is... and, and whatnot for a few more ways. Absolutely, that's got to be the only good news there for Escape Gaming, mid lane. Well, Levin still has his eyes on the kill, he wants to go for it, he will jump sync, get the four of the signal on the back, like that's not going to kill as well, it's a high price, you know, they want that down to the no death. Radiance middle tower. Truly get yourself out of a situation like that. But e home to try to breach high ground here. Quaifa drops the ice wall. It's about all he can do right now. One man defense from Quaifa. Can he do it on his own? I mean, he's certainly doing a good job of it. Tornado, EMP, and an ice wall. That's all you need to do with e home apparently for a good 20 seconds. Sends them packing. Well, they kind of used all their ultimates, right? They drop this in a good position. You can also counter initiate and just straight up kill. Radiance middle point, tower is under attack. He's out of the fight. Ripped back really across bad. the map. There's going to be no chronosphere for this defense to put that glimpse. They'll move in. They see the opening. E home coming hard with the ghost. Here we have on the Kezu cap. A little bit of cross country. He walks his way back to base. Under attack. E home. I see how much they can get done to the rats. Kezu. On his jogging boots. He has managed to close the gap. And he's cut with the glimpse. Quite hard to do the fight out of America. They can come in all the time. Radiance top tower is under attack. The spirit from the Apple finishes him off this day on a Titan. He's playing out of his mind there to follow Kezu's chrono. And they'll take down two of the big boys on E-Home and they'll hold the base for the time being at E-Home Escape Gaming, keeping those racks alive. And then Ice 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 is actually above the on the top left. And he had very low mana, so maybe... No, he did have enough. Song comes in, and by that point, the Earth Splitter had already been used, so... Obviously, Ehome had lost this fight as soon as that Earth Splitter lands. That's pretty much the wombo combo that we were talking about that lets Escape Gaming back into this. So, unfortunate that he didn't get the timing that he was looking for, but he does set Song up again. Absolutely, Octarine course, pretty good item. Sets up onto four of them. Here we go, Static Storm, Kinetic Field, catching out Kezu and Sidoran. They're trying to get a multi plus out. Koi for us, the Ogre chases him down. Kezu, time walks out. Will manage to jump up to the high ground at the last possible moment over Koi for. Playing with luck here as old Lannan trying to make the combo. No size, stopped up by the Stomp. He's coming in with a bash. He's gonna get out of that on his own. He's running around the battlefield. Dropping down the jackpot. The takedown to Escape Gaming again in return. Their push will be stopped by Ehome, and Ehome, they'll be ready to push back as the ghosts from Old Chicken come back online. Error, always oh, be caught out by Ice Ice Ice. Drow versus Nago, 1v1v son. Yes, it's uh, not going to work, especially when an axe turns up. Old 11, making the battle unfair, but does the dirty. Takes down Escape Gaming, and the better to hold them back. 30 seconds without the Drow. Radiant's top tower is under attack. At the moment, Kezu has that Chrono, let's see where he jumps in, but old Chicken got the BKB off in time. That's going to be the point, but it's going to be limited to what he can do, especially when he's there. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Quaifer, back and Legion only evoked, and he's going to himself back, but sitting out of the beast of silence, no longer can offer. Tornado for Quaifer, going to catch on to Orchard on the death rocket, turn towards Ice Ice Ice, but he's running around with these illusions out, the Radiant's bird is causing so many issues for escape gaming.
claiming they just can't get close enough. <gasps> Jump back in the field. Cinder has died! Oh, the illusions have killed him. Cinder and back to base. Ice 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 having fun there with the day. That, that's a feels bad, man. No, he doesn't. Never mind. They're gonna give it to somebody else. But, yeah, this is a, this is a six one no, and has 41 minutes into the game. game. And he's got 4600 gold on top of that. So, very yeah. unfortunate stuff. And we're gonna get a chance to see this high ground siege. The BKB that BKB pop. pop. That saved that his life, saved 100%. It, absolutely. And you can also see the damage difference when Air is not alive. Like, if they have a couple of ranged heroes with a weave, and even if he gets the BKB off, if the, the Drow Ranger was there, they probably get that kill. How much is he dishing out? Uh, increased, what, 70 damage, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. Of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did the math, but that's a lot. That's what, extra 350 when himself's alive and comes himself and everyone. That's, that's, but the a, problem that's is, a rapier. Problem is, with their lineup, they had this timing where they have a huge amount of physical damage output because they have Elder Titan Aura, and then they also have the Dazzle Weave. And before, Old Chicken had no armor items at all. So it was actually very easy for them to shred the hero because they just right-click it to death. Problem is now, he has the Octarine finish, and now he's building into armor. Which and he had about 1,100 gold towards the rest of the Agonims. It looks like he has sold it and gone back for the BKB era. So Radiance pushed himself down even more. He didn't have a point. Okay. Uh, I'm not getting senile then at my old age. That's good to know. It's good to know. Uh, era? He's also struggling with the illusion at this point. No, I saw, I saw. You see, he's just soloing the tall racks at the moment. The rest of the Eho. The pressure on Ed Johnson. Blicks himself out as well in Sky as e Absolutely powering down now onto his gate game. It looks like this could be the end of the road for Cinder the Boys in game one. Boy, well, he's going to get the free shot. Oh, shit. He was a bit of a safe one. He's going to actually have to escape game. Radian stuff out. Turning up now uh, on a day where the BKB is extremely, if you may have said, looking at it. Uh, what's happening? This is a team that we expect to play through the wild card. Here we have it in this game. The, I wouldn't say the cleanest performance because there were still trip ups. Escape Gaming was still able to punish some over aggressive maneuvers from Ego Home, but overall, as the game went on to the end, Ice Ice Ice, he was uh, laughing all the way through. That doesn't die.